Fried chicken is one of our most favorite things in this world. Kaya susubukan natin gumawa ng ating favorite Pinoy style fried chicken with gravy. Simple, simple. Luto na ka. So here we have six pieces of chicken. So tatlong leg quarters, which we divided, we cut up into two pieces, no leg and the drumstick. And we marinate simply with salt and calamansi juice. Salt and calamansi juice. It's important that you marinate ahead of time. Kasi if you don't, hindi manunot yung lasa. And secondly, hindi magre-retain ng juice eh. So kahit na sinasabi ng iba na you need to brine it, marinating itself will also help. No? So we don't have to brine all the time. This one will already infuse the flavors in due time. So... We have to marinate at least 15 minutes or better yet, overnight. So we just let it rest for around 15 minutes. The acid will help it absorb quicker. So pag may acid tayo, we don't have to marinate that long. And here we will prepare our breading mix. So we start off with 3 4 cups of all-purpose flour. And we add 1 4 cup of cornstarch. And to season our flours, we add... 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of white pepper, I'm using white pepper here, 2 teaspoons of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of 5 spice powder, 1 teaspoon of chili powder. So, you can use paprika, but I like to use the chili powder. And that's all set. So, here our chicken has marinated for around 15 minutes now. We are ready to fry. But before that, I will add one egg white to my chicken mixture. Just to help the flour adhere to the chicken. So, gusto natin dumikit talaga yung flour natin. So, we're ready to fry now. So, we be sure to coat our chicken pieces properly. So, we drop into our flour, our breading mix. Well coated, and we drop into the hot oil. We want it to be very crisp. So one way is to be able to have a wide opening para mas madaling mag evaporate yung liquid from our meats. So when frying in a fast food, yung mga piniprito kasi nilang pagkain, like the chicken, is suspended in a basket na malayo sa heating element nila. Kaya even yung cooking, kahit hindi na nila galaw-galawin, but in our case, na it's a pan, a direct heat is touching our pan. My area where the fire hits, na mas mainit, so possible magdarken yung portion ng chicken na tumatama doon. Kaya, I always like to move the chicken around so it cooks evenly. So if you're cooking the red meat part, like the thighs, the legs, the wings, it will take longer to cook than the breast. So pag sinambay mong linuto yung breast part, and the leg and wing part, nangyayari, nanunuyot na yung inyong breast part. Ang inyong leg and thigh are still juicy. So, ang key natin, my suggestion is, sabay-sabay mo lutuin yung lahat ng red meat part at sabay-sabay mo rin lutuin yung white meat part para sigurado kang tama yung luto ng dalawa. So, while waiting for our chicken to cook, I will just prepare our gravy. And I have here around 3 tablespoons of butter. I just melt it in a saucepan along with our flour. So we're also using 3 tablespoons of flour and 3 tablespoons of butter. So we just cook it in a roux. Ang tawag dito roux. No? It's a way of thickening sauces and soups. After cooking the flour and butter for Around a minute, kailangan makook siya or else you're gonna taste that major raw flour flavor. And I add around 1 fourth cup of finely chopped mushrooms. So this is canned mushrooms. Canned button mushrooms which I just chopped up. So we're sauteing it para lumabas talaga yung mushroom flavor. And I add a little bit of garlic powder. So this is around 1 teaspoon of garlic powder. I just add a few pinches of 5 spice powder. Around 3 pinches of 5 spice powder. We don't want it to be very prominent in the flavor. Add my 
mushroom brine. So this is the soup of the mushroom, yung along with the package, no? So in the canned mushroom, meron na siyang kanyang kasamang brine. So I use that to add to our gravy para makuha natin yung mushroomy flavor. Look at that. Our chicken is turning out beautifully. Yan mo. We're just waiting it to reach the golden color that we're looking for. So our chicken is almost cooked. How do we check? You're worried not to check kung luto siya. So I'll teach you a tip. So we get one piece of chicken to check if it's already done. And we just find a thick portion and we pierce it with a knife. So if you let it drip and clean siya, walang blood na lumalabas, it means the chicken is already cooked. Now, we know it's cooked, but what we're doing is we just want to achieve the golden color of our Pinoy fried chicken. To achieve the color of our favorite gravy, just add a little bit of around a tablespoon of liquid seasoning and a little bit of soy sauce. Just around a tablespoon of soy sauce so we achieve the gravy color that we desire. Yan. And our chicken is done. Look at that. Sobrang bango, wow. Yan, and sobrang crispy, sobrang golden. Oh, isang bucket na yan. And to finish our gravy, we just add our cracked black pepper. Freshly cracked is the best. I really like it peppery. And just stir it. And our gravy is done. Look at that. And we just pour our gravy. Look at that. Sobra nothing happy. Mm. Look at that. Tama. Very smooth. I'm sure you will love this recipe. Please try it at home. Six pieces of our favorite Pinoy style fried chicken. Look, it's very crisp. Very nice skin. Look at that. I'm sure every Pinoy in the world would fall in love with this dish. Try it at home, do it yourself, and enjoy our favorite Pinoy-style fried chicken. Simple! Nagustuhan niyo ba ang video na to? Please share para lalong dumami ang ating mga kasimple. And don't forget to subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram accounts.